Hello and welcome to Business Reporter's Digital Transformation Campaign. I'm Alastair Greener. As digital transformation marches on and cloud technology, virtualization and workforce mobility are becoming common, the security boundaries of companies are getting increasingly blurry. What can companies do in this rapidly changing environment to enhance their security and compliance posture? Well, this is what we're going to discuss today with Happiest Minds, a digital transformation and security company that has recently won the Red Herring Top 100 Global Award for excelling on criteria like strategy, market penetration and technology innovation. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Perhaps you could start off by taking us through some of the most important shifts that have taken place over the last few years when it comes to cybersecurity and compliance. We have to look at what organizations want to do. They want to build trust, they want to protect themselves, their brand and their reputation. They also have the onus from regulators to protect the consumer citizen. They have to protect themselves from unscrupulous hackers and they've got 10 billion devices that are trying to access their enterprise systems. Companies cannot fight with Tommy guns when the enemy has got an array of drones and remote missiles. So they have to move themselves from being reactive to being proactive, from looking at post analysis to preemptive behavior analytics. So that is the shift that has happened in the cybersecurity space. And that's what organizations have to worry about. And to add to that, there have also been many influencers which are impacting these, uh, the, this shift. The magnitude of data protection mandates and uh, data being the commodity, the main uh, main business uh, sensitive information. And there has also been a lot of uh, um, technology explosion, which the digital transformation uh, demands. IoT devices, the number of IoT devices, the number of mobile devices, DevSecOps, cloud, all these technology shifts have also influenced uh, these changes. And also some of the advanced technologies such as uh, um, analytics, uh, artificial intelligence, automation, they've, they've all, all been uh, huge influencers in, in whatever technology shift and uh, the, the cyber security space shift that's happening. For an organization going on a typical digital transformation journey, what are going to be the typical challenges that they face when it comes to cybersecurity and compliance? When an organization wants to drive digital transformation, it reminds me of the Queen song, I want it all, I want it now. Uh, that's an impossible situation for an organization because they have to give a seamless customer experience, both to their internal customers, to the external customers, and to the ecosystem around them. So the biggest challenge that they have is security has always been a function that somebody else looks at. You can't do that anymore. It, it's about bringing together governance and risk and compliance and then building security embedded within the organization. So organizations, when they're going down the digital transformation journey, no longer can look at application security or infrastructure security or cloud security or have a compliance as a tick box. It needs to be holistic in the approach that they take security. There is a lot of investments that enterprises are putting into into uh, bringing cyber technologies and uh, cyber security defenses into picture. Uh, but doing it right is very important. Bringing them all together, making the best out of the investments that have already gone in, uh, integrating them and uh, continuously refreshing them, keeping up with what's happening in the cyber uh, attack space. That's, that's very important and that's one of the huge challenges also that enterprises face today. And what is it about analytics-driven integrated security that can remedy these problems? The need for time cyber defense, the, the demands from cyber defense are not just traditional perimeter-centric anymore. They've become more of data-centric. There is a need uh, for them uh, to protect an enterprise from known as well as unknown threats. We are talking about the, um, you know, the, the new age of digital IT. There is a constant demand to, uh, to monitor, discover and prevent cyber attacks uh, from all newer uh, threat vectors. 
and uh, analytics driven cyber protection offers offers just that it goes beyond the uh, the traditional patterns and uh, can look for uh, anomalies can look for user behaviors that are out of the ordinary can look for anything any outlier that happens in an enterprise and they can flag them as an alert this is beyond what the existing technologies can do and if these this power is clubbed with automation for incident resolution and uh, identification then that's that that's capable of uh, you know preventing many of the majority of the threats newer age threats that enterprises face today so i like to protect my home um, and so today i have an app which has got a camera which can look into my home when my burglar alarm goes off i can see whether it's a burglar or whether it's a cat now if i had an embedded ai with deep learning machine learning in the camera then the camera would alert the security company or the police i just need to know that it's been alerted can you imagine trying to do this within an organization where you've got deluge of information and data coming in it's impossible for a security professional to keep track of everything so security professionals efficiency is what needs to be looked at in terms of how they can protect themselves proactively preemptively and that's where cyber analytics comes in Okay, let's talk a little bit more now about Happiest Minds. Tell us a little bit more about what you do and how you help your clients in this new environment that we find ourselves in. Yeah, we have a platform called uh, Cyber Risk uh, Prevention and Protection, CRPP in short. It has um, an advanced cyber analytics module, module built into it, which is offered to our customers. This is a uh, this is a platform built on open standards, and uh, the algorithms within the cyber analytics platform, they are capable of sitting and monitoring uh, uh, the an enterprise's behavior over a period of time, and they can in real time flag anything that's happening uh, out of the ordinary within an enterprise, any behavior that's that's not normal. any behavior that's anomalous uh, it, it could be a potential incident and uh, and the algorithms can flag the same and they are also capable of measuring the magnitude of the anomaly and saying what's the immediate reaction that needs to be taken place and they also have self learning capabilities so you know over a period of time if the nature of enterprise business is shifting they can learn that also and reduce the false positives and uh, yeah this has been very effective with with some of the customers Absolutely. where we have implemented this and and if you let me give you an illustration right john doe employee of a company works from 9 am to 6 pm usually accesses the hr and finance systems of late john doe has been accessing the sales systems now under normal circumstances a security professional would never have it flagged up but with ai and cyber analytics you now have the opportunity to have it flagged up well john do might be innocently a sales person now who's been you know trying in catch up mode uh, understanding how the company works or he could be stealing company data or it could be a malicious agent that's where behavior patterns get caught that's what makes cyber analytics powerful and that's what happens with the cyber protection platform that happiest minds has got And what is it about privileged access management or PAM? What is it about that that can help identify vulnerable accounts or excessive usage or or those kind of symptoms? Yeah, uh, privileged accounts in an enterprise or or those users and uh, accesses which have uh, which can access critical sensitive information of a company. It could be critical data, critical servers, uh, critical applications. Uh, these accounts have been the major uh, source of cyber attacks in the recent years. That's uh, that's also because of the digital transformation uh, journey that an enterprise uh, uh, goes through. Now the privileged accounts are not just Uh, windows administrators or server administrators anymore there are accounts that manage the cloud hosting there are accounts that um, that manage the saas and pass subscriptions there are accounts that manage an enterprises uh, uh, social media uh, accounts 
then devops accounts and uh, api administration there are many privileged accounts now if compromised they can uh, they can severely damage an enterprise's reputation or business efficiency or availability of services that an enterprise offers so carefully controlling and protecting these accounts is very very critical for an enterprise they 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 have to deploy technologies which can constantly discover these uh, monitor their usage and um, also automatically remove them when they are no longer required you know having control over these accounts is uh, is almost equivalent to having control over the risk posture and it's interesting you talk about all of these situations which are very real However, it would be great to see maybe some examples of this in action. It's great in theory, but uh, perhaps you can t contextualize it for us. Proofs in the pudding, right? Absolutely. So, if you look at what we do for a very large telco, it's a global company, they've got close to 80,000 devices, and we have scaled their security operation center platform for 1.8 million events per second. You take a, a product company in the UK, which actually releases new products and upgrades into the market. We manage the entire threat management before it is actually sent out to their 1 million customer place. Or you take a Las Vegas uh, casino with a turnover of 8 billion, uh, for whom we actually manage the entire security monitoring services. So I hope that tells you about the ability for Happiest Minds to manage that kind of scale. And that's the real key, isn't it? Keeping up with the latest trends in cyber risk and so on. We've talked a lot about that during this interview. So for anybody watching, what key elements would you like them to remember from what we've been talking about? When you're looking at digital transformation, the three key things that are there, first is the seamless customer experience. That means people have to be able to uh, access and have a great experience because that's what the world has done to us. The second is the single orchestration layer. Nobody wants to deal with multiple layers of, you know, press one here, press two there. It's about a seamless orchestration experience. And the third is the data experience. And therefore, across all these layers, you have to build in the principles of governance, risk compliance, holistic security, and at the same time, protect your brand, the reputation, and the intellectual property of the organization. Yeah, and also make all uh, technologies and initiatives, your infrastructure strategy, everything should be more data centric. That's that's very important. And also, um, I'm stressing it again, uh, the employ the strategy of zero trust. That's that's very important. And make use of all the advanced technologies available to to make uh, you know cyber security a, a robust uh, framework. And in reality, every organization is going to need to use every tool that's available to them. And technology is going to be very much a part of that as we look to the future of cybersecurity and compliance. It's been really interesting finding out more. So thank you very much indeed for coming in. Uh, Priya Kanduri and also Isaac George from Happiest Minds. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. Alistair. Thank you very much.